Hello everybody, this is Women Wonder here today, and I am working on a new illustration of Oven Mother's House. This is kind of a concept art. This is probably the first time I've done a finished, or mainly finished, illustration of her house. Uh, I wanted to work on this because I've been trying to do some more designs and concepts for Oven Mother and her world, just because at some point I would like to make an actual comic or graphic novel of her story so I'd like to have a pretty good idea of what I want things to look like you know like locations and objects and designs and outfits and stuff like that so that's kind of what I'm working on today and while this speed paint goes along I wanted to talk a little bit about what I was going for with the design and what I liked and what I didn't end up really liking and I'll probably change in future drawings of her this design. Uh, first off, uh, things that I was going for. So basically I've known for quite a long time that I've wanted the house on the outside at least to look extremely tiny, like impossibly small basically, like a tiny home kind of uh, was kind of what I was going for. Uh, so the really the perspective is very like stretched and like the house is a lot more tall seeming than it is uh wide and like i said it pretty much seems impossible that there could be a whole house in there uh which obviously from the outside that's what i wanted to go for now on the inside i planned on it i plan on it just being you know kind of a normal small house but from the outside i wanted it to look very very tiny uh which i think kind of came out good um it's definitely going to be a challenge to figure out how to get all those details like the windows and stuff fit into such a small space because uh, I think I, it's a good start with what I did with this one, but I definitely think uh, it could be improved, something I'll have to practice. But anyway, that was the one thing that I was uh, focusing on. And the other thing that I kind of uh, wanted was I wanted the house to kind of be a little bit cottage inspired, you know, very cute and inviting, uh, even though it's also, I want it to be not 100% pristine and perfect either. Uh, so I was, that's kind of some of the things I was thinking about. Now something to note about her house is that in reality, in the story uh, that she's in, in the world, the story is set in, pretty much the majority of the people who live in that world, their houses, or at least this area she's in, their houses look like this. Because basically they just built a ton of these houses for all the families. So basically they're all almost identical uh, in terms of at least the basic structure and uh, outside. So that was something also to keep in mind. So basically there's just rows of these and like these big uh, lots and stuff. Uh, but anyway, I wanted to talk a little bit about some of the things also that I didn't really love about what ended up coming out in this design. Some things I'll probably change. Um, one thing that I noticed was that uh, when I was getting close to the end of it, you might noted when I render the sides of the house like around the windows and stuff like the actual house part uh, I ended up rendering it kind of like uh, wood pretty much like you know having the lines and the grain like a wood board which doesn't necessarily look bad but I don't think it's really fits kind of the era that I'm kind of inspired by with this world and everything so I think in the future what would probably make more sense to do instead of uh, like wooden boards is probably to do something like maybe siding like I thought maybe horizontal siding like you know kind of more uh, a little more modern looking I think would work better another thing that I haven't quite figured out if I like it or not is the roof um, specifically the scallop tiling, because I find myself using scallop tiling a lot in different pictures when I do houses, just because I kind of, you know, I think it's more intricate and cute, and it definitely is very, like, dollhouse-like, which is fine in some cases, but I haven't quite decided if that's really what I'm going for in her house, uh, so that's something I'm gonna have to think about, and it's also really annoying to try to draw scalloped tiling sometimes, but, uh, yeah, I think that uh, pretty much covers what I was going for uh, with this design. Overall, I think it came out pretty well. Uh, I definitely like uh, her little, you know, like front yard, picket fence, you know. Basically, with her whole world and her house, you know, it kind of looks very cute and almost like it could be sort of like an ideal, like other than it being super tiny, like an ideal cute family home. But, but in terms of story and stuff, 
there's also some sort of dark sides to some of the stuff. But with this, anyway, I think this will pretty much conclude the video. And if you want to hear more about Oven Mother, I recommend checking out my 25 Expression Challenge videos, which I'll link below, which I talk a little bit about her and her character. Um, and also look forward, hopefully, to some more videos about Oven Mother and her world, because I definitely want to do more pictures of her and her, um, her kids and other characters and concept art and stuff like that. So hopefully one day I will have a comic of her. But this will be the end of the video, and if you want to like, comment, or subscribe, I would definitely appreciate it. And you can also check out my other social media sites if you want to see more art. But I will see you guys in the next video, so have a 